some amazing people. New York City, Central Park South. Central Park South. If you're familiar with the Plaza Hotel, the Plaza Hotel is at Central Park South. To my right. Do some uh, street photography for you on this side today. We we'll spend a little time popping four corners here. We're on Central Park South, Fifth Avenue, maybe Madison. Maybe a little park avenue left and right. Small little area here. Probably captures strangers, tourists, horses, vendors, a little bit of everything. It was called in the shop almost. Just gonna call it POV. Walk around 1500 feet radius around Central Park South corner of 59th and 5th I got with me A747 and the 200 and as I always mention I don't shoot with one camera two cameras and right here I have A74 I have the twin attached as of now so zoom wide always at my fingertips then I might switch over to the 14 I might shoot a little bit with the 135 a little bit with the 2470 all depends let's see what we got here lower right, settings a little bit and lower the settings a little bit this 20 millimeter 1.8 Man, I don't know how many people made a review of this, but this lens is sharp. I think it was better than my 24 I sold. My 24 1.2, yeah, you might call me crazy. I, I sold the 24 to get 20. Because I have the 35, I have the 14. I like the 20 better. I really do. 20. Somebody to walk around here. Nice. I like how the 20 looks. Nice and cloudy today. I like cloudy sometimes. I like overcast. Those days you want to get that even lighting. the hand gesture you just did so I think he told him five five dollars for ice cream yeah five whatever's five dollars is not for me today five dollars five bucks I thought pizza was expensive I guess those guys didn't go for the five dollar ice cream I wouldn't either oh, look at that guy wearing a chicken a rooster Whatever you want to call on his head. Not a hat. Okay, I'll have to turn this way a little bit. Oh, just missed it. Looks like you're getting to here. 
go across the street and grab that guy. That hat. That boy. That was in between cars. Interesting. Let's see if we can get that guy right there. Hey, y'all look like that. mentioned how much I love the 7 and 200 the new one so light shoot with one hand and yes I did wrap it as I mentioned in my other video because I don't want it to scream white and wow I wrapped it black I think this company called Affleguard make it look like it's old but I shoot with one hand No problem. La 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 Grab the 20 here real quick. Let's see what we got going on here. This is a nice frame here. Alright, you see that guys? I'm gonna underexpose a little bit. Always good to underexpose. And then let's be overexposed. gentleman here you can see that oh, uh, across the cross road would be nice yeah nice show this guy with the smoke in the background Try to get a vertical and a horizontal quick. Good. So I'm trying to 
sometimes you gotta chase the chef. This time I followed somebody for like a good 20 minutes to get him at the perfect location. Yeah. Because you gotta get the shot. Because it'll make me feel better. Let's see. What you got here? I have a vision for this photo. placement of the taxi right there actually so I'm gonna put a little cone a little depth yeah yeah kind of like in the shot sorry some with the 7200 especially that guy right there Central Park Wildlife Center. Those guys are new. Now that you got out, you thought you wasn't going to be okay when you first got the Oh, look at the seals, you know.
This would be a cool shot here at a wide angle. Oh yeah. Even that was cool. Looking by here. This is a great shot in general. An artsy shot for my wall too. My gallery. Love it. Clouds in perfect position, the lighting. Just perfect. I don't know, do I need my 14 here? Nah, looks just as good. Just as good. Just gonna wait for a few people to walk by. I'm trying to get a single person some subject. Looks nice. Looks nice. Can I see I've added these expert shields? I call it like a screen protector, but it's actually I got a mat. It's um, for a reflection because I had that glare. I don't know if you guys how you guys shoot. If you have a polarizer or a circuit, polarizer on your GoPro or whatever action cam you're doing your POV, but I was getting the glare, seeing myself. So I got these and. Um, Pretty sure you can see in a even on a bright sunny day. A lot of areas to visit in here. You got penguins, you got seabirds, you got sea lions, tropic zone, dancing queen cafe, Wordy theater. You go here. Yes, Nick. Let's see. Let's see. Whoa. On the top of the world. I like the lines. We can go for a taxi. Hmm. Perfect time. Now we're going over the pass. I like walking paths, parks. It's just the, my background is also. I'm from Greece and I just love, and I'm from an island, and I just love the greenery, walking through woods, parks. It's just so nice. Oh. Yeah, no, it's not a park photography. Yeah, do some street photography. 
because this is all called street photography. If I like it, doesn't matter, right? If you like your own photos, that's all that matters. Everybody has an opinion. Okay? If you like your photo, that's all that matters. Yeah. This is a photo. Yeah. Patience. This game requires patience and luck. Call it 50 50, 50% 50 luck, 50% patience. Okay. I think I got one. Yeah, there's the other guy's the gaze. a foreground. I'm trying to get two coming and going to be a nice one, but gotta be here for a little while. There's one. Uh, I should be coming on this already now. What is that? Ooh, what is that? I think that's coming from the zoo. That cannot be a human. Let's try one more time. This time I move, I want one cab going, one gap coming. Here, like that. I'm shooting at 1.8. There we go. So I said 50% patience, 50% lucky. But right, when you think you're done, you turn around. That shot you want was coming, and I got the one cap coming, one cap coming. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna circle up. I got to the streets. Ice skater ring is done. Now, I'll tell you, we didn't have no winter this year. Winter was just a thing. I've been living in New York for years. I don't want to say my age, but over 30 years. And this winter felt like it was just spring. We went from spring to spring. In the blink of an eye. I guess they wait for somebody to go to the street. Um, I'm walking around with cameras around my waist. I look like I work for TMZ. So the guy asked me, who are they waiting for? Chris, I wish I knew. Maybe I should hang out and find out. Thank you, sir. This is nice here to capture that stupid trail. That kid in that photo booth. This is, this is the kind of sham I'll probably try to capture with my. Uh, 
lens is so damn good so you shoot at 2.8 and I shoot events with this lens too it's I feel like I'm at 1.8 I'm dead serious that's how much I love this 2470 I've never loved the 2470 in my life I had all versions of Nikons I had the first version of this this thing is be more compact and light too than the sharpness in this and man this lens is amazing. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Circle around here a little bit. So we get hungry. When I get hungry, I get hungry. I get hangry. Sometimes when there's too much people, there's days you get great shots and there's days you're struggling to like find what you really want to capture. And then you just get creative like with the new desk guy putting up boxes. You know, just something like that. And I think I'll be dead at it. Uh, that would have been a greater shot with the 14 or 20. Absolutely, that with that whiteness. <laughs> that guy's funny. There you go. Some people like to get photographs, man. Right? They have, they see us on the street with camera. They want to, they, they have a great sense of humor. Some people just like, they look at you, they want to kill you. I understand, you know, you know, I get it. So what they say, you know, to get the great photos. Back in the days, uh, when shooting with like a like a camera, those fixed lenses, 23 millimeter or whatever you want to call it, you had to get up close to get your shot. It was kind of, kind of creepy. I mean, you, you look up YouTube videos and watch these old school photographers. Some people still do it. You know, to get the great shot, they say you got to get up close. Well, not really. Now, you know, you don't have to get up that close. You can get great photographers from uh, great photography from a distance and not be in somebody's face. You know? uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing that for. Get lost. I look like a tourist, but I'm not a tourist. I am from New York, Astoria, Queens. I am from New York, Astoria, Queens. Greek American. For those for you, for those of you that want to know, I'm Greek. I don't know, man. I don't know if my accents. Do I have a, a New York accent? Or do I have a Greek accent? Some people say sometimes I have an accent. I don't know what it's the accent, the New York accent or the Greek. It says sometimes that you know, I have an accent. There's days I don't have an accent. It's kind of weird. Oh, I like that postal bag with the gentleman inside. Look at that. It's 
weird shots that when you edit them, they become your favorite shots. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's take this. Make sure it's straight. Every little thing that counts. You find look at me, what the hell is this guy photographing? Trust me. I'm a photographer. Ooh la la! Super light! Super light! Super light! I see most of you guys shoot with the... Uh, well, mine is hanging. The wrist strap? Mine is hanging on my bag. Instead of being on my hand. I know it's risky sometimes dropping the camera somebody running by somebody walking by snatching your camera but with this wrist strap you have to take my arm with me in order to take the camera off my hand because the more you pull it tightens so it, it grabs a grip that's the good thing about it and it's the uh, peak design all my stuff is peak design peak design spider holster clip and guy with the bike here is a cool shot he's peeking oh come on guy get out of my shot it's like i've seen this guy all day today following me almost cool bike Sometimes you gotta know what you're looking for, and I, I, mean, I like this. I like it. That's all that matters, right? Now, with a fortune, would have been better. Yeah. Well, move back a little bit. String. It's not getting in front of the camera. Get a little closer to this guy here. Grab the window. Pretty cool. Uh, Actually, I want to get a picture of this bike. The man, this bike. Who, me? Yeah. Always. I'm, I'm a street stalker. Uh-huh. You know that. <laughs> Do I look obvious? Yep. <laughs> it's for well, today only. <laughs> oh, I get what she meant by that. Uh, she thinks I am waiting for celebrities. Uh, that's what she meant. I thought she picked up on it that I was a street photographer, but she goes, I know. Uh, yeah, you know, I have a GoPro on my chest, a backpack, a camera, you know. And an undressed gray jeans, black top. I think I am a TMZ celebrity stalker, which I'm not. I gotta go to B&H to pick up something. This shot, this guy here. You darken it, make a silhouette. I wanna get every mural in the background. I got the guy, I got the girl. Yeah, you got that girl. It's pretty cool. So you just gotta... You know? 
create so over This way. I'm gonna go. I am gonna go that way and then that way. I'm on that way to my bike. Oh. So I like that. It says boss. Look and you find. Now, if I had the 135, you get a nice shot with her. Absolutely, yes. I'm good. Thank you. No, no, I just found this in the street today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think it was yours, yeah? Am I a professional photographer? Absolutely not. Yeah. It's one thing I said to people. Say, are you a professional photographer? I always say, no. No such thing as a professional photographer. Just like you don't call a doctor a professional doctor. You go to the doctor. I'm a photographer. You're an artist. They are not professional photographers. I am not. I don't call myself a professional. I'm just a photographer. That's it. So now with the 2470, I got this. I cropped in. And if I had the 135, I'd get a nice, cool shot. Yeah. Oh, look at you here. Oh, the Ritz. But that's enough time I had to capture. Starting April 1st, reducing the time of Please don't make the cut. Please. Cool, cool. Sometimes you guys, sometimes you have some guys giving you the peace sign or the middle finger. Well, if you get the middle finger, yes, you are in New York. Consider it as a, a welcome gesture. Don't get mad. It's New York. You treat people nice. Just gotta be careful sometimes. Be alert, New York. Again, if you are in New York, I highly advise you to wear your wrist strap attached to the camera. Just walking around like this, anybody can snatch the camera. I don't care. If you're a tough guy or not, if you could run fast, but you cannot, you're not gonna outrun a bicycle. Trust me, you're not gonna outrun a bicycle. So sometimes I'm chancing it too, but sometimes I don't have because I switch cameras and I don't wanna miss the shot, so I wanna put my other camera away and grab the other camera. That's why, but if I'm strictly one be with one camera one day, yeah, I'll definitely strap it. No doubt. So for now, I'm gonna say um, peace out from this section here. If I move along down anywhere to eat and grab 
a few more shoot shots. I'll incorporate them. And uh, be well, guys. Stay safe. Bye.